This is the lesson for Mod 4, Lesson 7, um, Finding Holes in Rational Functions. Um, the goal is we're going to be able to find a hole in a rational functioning graph. Um, so this is basically what happens when we identify values in the domain, um, but we have a rational function where the expressions on the top and bottom um, simplify, and we maybe create not an asymptote, but a hole in the function. So this is where we, when we cancel factors. Um, what does that do to the graph? Um, so a definition is a hole in a rational function occurs when a common factor is in the numerator and the denominator. And if I was to um, get a certain x value, it would make the top and bottom zero and kind of create a hole. So we're going to look at how do we find where the hole is and, and graph it. Um, for these problems, we're going to start the same way we usually would. So um, um, first, we're going to go ahead and factor to find our domain. So on the bottom, it's a difference of two squares. So x plus 2, x minus 2. On the top, uh, I'm going to pull out a 4. And my domain, I would do the same way. Um, I take the opposite, right? So it cannot equal 2 and cannot equal negative 2. Um, one thing uh, that's a little bit different, though, is the x minus 2 is on the top and bottom cancel. So what that does is we know that's going to create what we call a hole. So what happens is I'm going to do the rest of my problem with this simplified um, function. I'm going to rewrite it down here. But I have to keep in mind that I found the domain before I canceled because that's, you know, holes are still going to have to be mentioned in the domain. Um, and then we're going to use this like simplified version now to, to answer the rest, a lot of the other questions. So um, a horizontal asymptote, and I could do the original or the new one, it would get the same answer. I could see I have an x on the bottom, um, just a value on the top, so the bottom is going to get bigger much faster, so that's uh, y equals zero. My vertical asymptote, though, isn't both of these values, it's actually just the negative two. Um, because what happens is that positive 2 um, that's mentioned in the domain, uh, it's actually going to create a hole. So um, the vertical asymptote is still going to be at negative 2, but I'm going to have a hole in my graph at 2. Because, again, that's because these canceled. That's going to make a hole. Um, the rest is kind of the same, so the, the x-intercept, if I set the top equal to 0, that won't really make sense, so there's not an x-intercept. And then the y-intercept is where I put 0 in for uh, x. So 4 over 0 plus 2 is 2, um, so my, uh, my y-intercept is 2. And then finally, for the hole, um, what? Well, actually, let's uh, yeah, let's graph the asymptotes first, and then we'll talk about that hole. So we're gonna have a horizontal asymptote at zero, a vertical asymptote at a negative uh, and negative two. Okay, and then um, I know I'm gonna have a y-intercept at 0, 2. Okay, um, the hole though, what that means is like normally we would just go from here sketch the graph because we don't have an x-intercept. Um, in our graph, we're going to have an, a literal hole in our graph. So I'm going to put, um, to find where that hole is going to be, if I go ahead and put in 2 in for x into my reduced function, um, so we would get here Um, f, if I do f of 2 equals 4 over 2 plus 2, I would get 1. So when I go ahead and look at my graph now, I still have my vertical asymptote. Um, when I go ahead and now look at my graph, what happens is that 2, 1, which is like right here, I'm going to have an actual hole in my graph. So when I graph it, um, I'm going to have almost like a little... I'm, I'm going to draw like a little open circle right there. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and sketch the graph. So when I sketch my graph, 
I would sketch it like normal, but again, I'm leaving that little hole that's right there. There's like, there's basically just an actual gap there. And then now I have this symmetrical piece over here. And that would be my final answer. Um, for this last example, it's it's pretty much the same thing. We're going to go ahead and factor it out. Um, so on the top, I have a GCF of 2 I can pull out. And then it just works out when I factor. I also have a difference of 2 squares, right? So I'm going to go ahead and write this out. On the bottom, um, I can factor this trinomial. I could use a table if I like. Um, at this point, you're probably hopefully getting a little bit better at these, so I'm not going to write all the steps because that's not really anything brand new. And so um, we find our domain. Uh, same, we always do it before we reduce anything. So it's a negative six and two. Um, then I can cancel the x minus 2's, and so this is my new function I'm going to be answering everything with now. Um, so my horizontal asymptote, I can find it a few ways. I can find it from this new one. Um, and you can kind of reduce it there. You might see that you it, the, that's one you can actually probably find from the original pretty easy. Um, so 2x squared over x squared is just a 2. So my horizontal asymptote is 2. Um, my vertical asymptote um, is, um, again, I cancel these out. So um, it's just the negative 6. Um, for uh, the x-intercept, I'm setting my y value to 0. And we're just going to go ahead and set the top equal to 0. And then actually, I could even, I could distribute, I could divide, it doesn't, they're all going to give us the same answer. And we're going to get negative 2. So my x-intercept is negative 2, 0. Um, my y-intercept uh, is when you let the x be 0. So same as kind of just looking at the ratio of the coefficients. So that would be, um, in this case, uh, 2 thirds. And then finally, for our whole, um, that's what we canceled out, right? So we canceled out an x minus 2 that, we, that I crossed out here. So we actually had a whole, and you can kind of see that's the value we didn't use in our domain. We actually had a whole at 2. And so if I put it into our, um, our new function... And I put that 2 in, um, that's going to give us the y value for our whole. So if we go ahead and calculate that, um, that's actually going to give us a whole of 1. And so now when we go ahead and graph this out, um, our um, horizontal asymptotes at 2, our vertical asymptotes at negative 6, <laughs> and then um, we're going to plot our intercepts. Um, so we have one at negative 2, 0. Um, we have a y-intercept at two th zero two thirds, which is like between the zero and the one. And then um, we're going to have a hole at two one, so I'm going to have a hole right there. And so when we go ahead and uh, graph it. So it looks something like this, where I have a little hole. And then I'm going to be symmetrical, and I can draw a sketch. And if you want to be real accurate, you can you know, count over and up, but really we're just looking for a sketch.
If you have questions, make sure you are trying the you try problems um, and then asking um, for help during class, signing up for T-Bolt time or getting help in the center.